Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here uh, first uh, here uh, first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And here, uh, first you see that uh, this is the two same variable terms are added by each other. And we get here, this is k plus k becomes here two times of k. And here the two same variable terms are multiply each other and it will be written as k multiplied by k becomes k square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to move this k square to the right hand side and it will be written as 2k is equals to uh, this k square times 1 equals to k square and uh, now here further in the next step we move this 2k to the right hand side and it will be written as k square minus 2k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to take common k from here and when we take common k it will be written as so after taking common k from here we get k only minus when we take common k from here we get 2 only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k equals to 0 and the second case is we write k minus 2 equals to 0 so this is the our uh, first root of the given equation and now here from from here we move this minus 2 to the right hand side and it will becomes plus 2 and this is the second root of the given equation so here we get these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here from first method uh, and now in the next step we need to verify that uh, is both of these two values be the solution or both of these two values be the extraneous root of the given equation so here uh, further uh, we need to uh, uh, substitute both of these values to the given equation and now we copy down given equation here it is k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 1 and in this side we will be verify k equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 2 so here uh, first, uh, we need to uh, substitute k equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior and when you put it here, it will become 0 plus 0 divided by 0 multiply 0 equals to 1. So here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 0 divided by 0 is equals to 1. And now you see here, this is 0 by 0, uh, 0 divided by 0 is called uh, the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of k equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement and we call that k equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so k equals to 0 be the extraneous root uh, and now here we need to check uh, the second root so from here we put k equals to 2 into the left hand side and it will become 2 plus 2 divided by 2 multiply 2 is equals to 1 so this is 2 plus 2 becomes here 4 and 2 multiply 2 is also becomes here 4 and this is equals to 1 these two terms are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of k equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement. So we call that the solution set of this question is k equals to 2. So this is the only solution set of the given question. Uh, so this is the final conclusion uh, of this problem uh, from first method. And now here we again solve this problem for second method. So in second method, we need to copy down given question statement here. The given question statement is k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 1. So this is our uh, question statement. And now here, 
uh, we again solve this problem for second method so this is the uh, very quickest method and here we quickly get the values of k so we have this is k plus k becomes here two times of k and k multiplied by k becomes k square and this whole equation is equals to one and now you see here this k and this k are cancelled out by each other and we get the remaining values r so from in the left hand side we get a 2 divided by k and in the right hand side uh, we will get here 1 only and here our target is to get the values of k or we get the roots of this equation so for this we move this k to the right hand side and we move this 1 to the left hand side so it will become 2 over 1 is equals to k and we know about that 2 over 1 is equals to 2 so finally we get the value of k is equals to 2 so in the second method we just get only one root of the given equation and which is k equals to 2 so in the first method we already verify that this value of k is already satisfied our given question statement uh, so finally we conclude about the solution set of this question is k equals to 2 so this is the only one solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos